It's the 27th of February 2022. This is not my first video for the day. I do have to be extremely careful about actually paying attention to with my camera uh, today though because I am that person who makes these videos and then uploads them regardless. Um, but I'm topless right now because it is so freaking muggy in Melbourne that after okay so I went to the dog park and I saw Nichelle and her husband and friend and I came back and I read my textbook for a while and she had these uh, plants that she um, didn't want anymore right so she had someone say they were going to come get them but they were mucking her around and um, she said if they didn't come I could have them I don't have any plants except for the weed ones and you know, I figure it'd be nice to figure out if I can keep a plant alive without actually paying for one. So I went to her house and we had a coffee and she shared her story about how she met her husband, which has made me really happy because um, her story is just one of those stories that makes me happy. Not my story to share though, so um, I don't share other people's stories, only, oh, there's a nipple. Oh, I'm too, oh, my bad. Probably, maybe I should make this a routine, I don't know. Anyway, I'll pay more attention. So, um, this is so weird that I don't care that I'm still going to post it online. I'm going to go with no. So, I was at these people's house, right? And we're talking and we're telling stories. And I tell them about the story. Oh, we're talking about, what were we talking about? Something came up and we're talking about tattoos. And I told her about the tattoo that's here, right? For anyone that hasn't seen the pictures on my website. And that led to a story about Facebook. And then that led to a story about why, what the number one reason was I closed my Facebook down in the beginning. So I originally, well, I mean, besides the fact that I don't want socials and clearly I'm an oversharer and yeah, all right. I'll just explain it the way I explained it to my new friends. So however many years ago it was, I thought it would be funny to do a five things you don't know about me um, Facebook post, right? I'd seen a meme about it, like, this is what you don't know about me. There was a picture or something, right? So I screenshot it and I made it a picture and then I wrote five things you don't know about me that I'm going to share. Anyway, I thought, well, you know, in, in true live fashion, I did... Oh, I really want to put my stand on, on my phone on my stand, but I'm not sure if that will be a good idea since I'm topless. Um, anyway, so in true love fashion, I wrote a post that was both really extreme sharing and not so much, right? So number one went, I lost my virginity in a threesome. Now, number two went, um, I hate filling up my car with petrol. Three was, I once applied to be in porn, which is true, obviously. Um, and number five was, I've met the literal other half of my energetic core frequency uh, in 2014, or something like that. But obviously, the I applied to be in porn one um, didn't make my mother happy. And yeah, she did follow me at this point. I thought it was funny, but I'm fairly certain I was high on ice too when I posted it. I'm not on ice now, obviously, and I, I still think it's funny because everything I've just said is true. And as I said to Nichelle and Pedro, I was like, I didn't apply to be in porn because I wanted to be in porn. That was never the point of the exercise. So I applied to be in porn because back in the day, I mean... I've talked about this before, I just don't know if I've talked about it on video, but back in the day I was very much like chasing what felt better than an orgasm, right? I didn't honestly believe anything would feel better than an orgasm, like an actual really amazing orgasm is fucking out of this world. And I didn't believe anything would beat that. I met Mr. X and how much I love him and the love I've felt from him and everything that's happened since, uh, thousand percent trumps an orgasm, but... It's, um, yeah. But my point being is, I was really a very cocky person. Now, I'm sure you can all believe that. So I did have this sort of 
thing where when I'd meet a man and I'd have sex or right before her and having sex or whatever it might be, I would say something along the lines of, I'm so good, I will be the best you've ever had. And once you've had me, like, it'll be fucked forever with anyone else. So I thought I might prove that. <clears throat> because at the point I was like, I'm just so cocky. Meh. And I didn't care because I knew it was true. Because if there's one thing in this world I know I'm good at, it's that. But I've also had a lot of fucking practice. Um, which really does make me feel like I'm a like prize stellion just sitting out in the pasture. Because seriously, I... I'm done with sex except for sex with myself, but that's cool. Anyway, I did apply to be in a porno. Um, I have to say the most funniest thing I've ever been asked, because I think it's an obvious one, but the funniest thing I've ever been asked is, how do you apply to be in porn? Like we all know what porn is. I really feel like there is only one answer to that. Um, but yeah, it, it's you have sex with someone that's in porn. That's that's how you apply. Um, and that's what I did. And I got hired. Um, I well, I got offered the job, and I was offered like I don't know, twenty-five or thirty grand or something in flights to Queensland, and oh, you know whatever it was. Um, I didn't take the job because I didn't actually want the job. I just wanted to be able to prove that I was able to be as cocky as I wanted. And that was the entire purpose of that exercise. Um, and it worked. I mean, I thought it was hilarious. Every time I tell the story, people laugh their fucking head off. These two <laughs> were laughing. Um, and honestly, like I say, like, my stories, I tell them, well, I think entertainment purposes are fun. They reckon I should do, like, stand-up. And I said to them, I've thought about it, obviously. I mean, that, to me, would be the obvious next step, yeah? Um, but I, I was like, but I'm not, a, I'm not a comedian. I don't tell jokes. None of my stories have punchlines. Like, I just tell a story that's real. And because of who I am and what I've done in my life, most of my stories are funny. I mean, we've got a lot that aren't. Sure. But the majority of them are, right? I've literally flashed a nipple in this video, I think. No, I saw it, and I'm not going to do anything about it because I don't care. <laughs> like, you know, it's a nipple. We've all got them. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop talking my arm hurts like motherfucker because I will post a video of all the plants I got that I managed to get from my back boot into my house in the heavy. There's one left at their house, but thankfully my new friends literally live like three minutes drive from me, so maybe like a 10 minute walk. So I said the next time we go for the walk with the dog, so I'll meet her at hers and they've got the big trolley thing. So I can walk with a trolley while she walks with her dog to my house because my house has a huge backyard, meaning we don't need to go to the dog bar. We can come, like she can bring the dog here, they can play and we can have coffee. So all round fantastic day having a ball um i love telling stories the applying to be in porn story i find hilarious um i don't think there's anything anyone can ever say to me that won't make me think that's fair funny because obviously i knew what i was doing it was safe consented there had to be contracts like we're talking like full-on official it wasn't some backyard thing that i got swayed into like i did my research I wanted to do this right, you know, it's, it's all on camera, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, but, you know, life is what we make it, right, and, you know, my websites are called Life's a Story for a reason, because we're, we are all our own main characters in our movies, in our lives, in our stories, in our whatever, and, um, this is mine, this is me, I am Liv, signing off from Melbourne, Australia, Mwah.